and I'm Trish and we are Blazing Phoenix. This is our instructional DVD on the Art of Twirling Point. First off we'll show you some basic moves, teach you how to do them and then after that we'll show you what can be done once these moves are learnt. So come and enjoy. Poi is a form of exercise so it is important that we do some warm ups to begin with. We we'll start by arms out and just clenching our fists, opening, clenching, opening. Take your fingers together and stretch them out. Get them out behind your back. Nice big stretch there. And grab one arm. Um, Just some little circles. Just nice big circles. And finally, give you a shake. I'm going to show you the first basic move, which is called the crossover. The best way to explain this to beginners is it's just like skipping with a rope but without the jumping. So with a point in each hand at your sides with your wrist facing upwards, swing them forward at the same time, just like a skipping rope. Try and keep them parallel to your body and this will avoid them hitting you when you cross them. Keep a steady pace. When you have the poi swinging at the same time and you feel confident, you can cross them in front of your body. Your wrists will face in a downwards direction as you cross them and your arms will cross in front of you and then uncross to bring them back to your side again. When you do this, your wrists will face upwards again as you bring them out. Now try crossing above your head and if you stop and swing the poi the other way, you can cross behind your back too. now going to show you the butterfly. The butterfly is a little harder but once mastered is the basis for many other moves. Start with the poi in front of you so that your wrists are together. Stretch your arms out as you swing the poi in a large circle bringing your hands back together in front of you. Your wrist should face upwards and one hand needs to be slightly forward but up from the other hand. To start this, you put both the poi on the same side of your body with your hands together. Now swing them around your, over your head and then back to make a horizontal circle in front of you. Now as the poi swing to the front of the circle, bring your right hand away from your left and swing the poi back up over your head in a circular motion. Follow it with your left hand not far behind. Continue swinging the poi above your head then down in front of you. It should create a figure eight type motion. To keep the circles hor try to keep the circles horizontal to the ground. Once the poi are swinging correctly, your hands should stay as close together as possible in a chasing motion. You can try moving in a circle with it. You can also do this move vertically above your head. This is a good move for incorporating dance. With your elbows at your hips, have the poi at the side. Swing forwards like you would for the crossover, but turn your hips to face the side. The poi should always be swinging parallel to your hips. Your wrist should be facing upwards. Now as the poi come over the top of the swing, turn your hands down, bringing the poi around with your body as you turn to face the other way. The poi will swing under and will be spinning backwards. Now as the poi come up, turn your body back, keeping your arms at your sides. The poi will swing over the top and back the other way so you will be facing the way you started. Now just repeat the steps. From spinning forwards, the poi should swing under as you turn. Then from spinning backwards, the poi will swing over as you turn, thus giving the over-under effect. You can also do it above your head and you can also turn. How did you go with that? If you enjoyed that and are confident to try some more, watch further and we'll show you some other moves that you can try and do. This is the figure eight.
is the spinning wheel. The helicopter. This is called Chasing the Sun.